Ari has controlled the market for a long time with really expensive lights. And the SkyPanel S30C is no exception. But today I'm gonna to compare that against the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30, which is another one by one full color RGBW LED panel. I'm gonna do my best to give you a fair comparison of all the things that these things do differently. I'm not gonna go over every individual feature that each of these both share. If you want to see my full overview of the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30, go ahead and click the link in the description and watch that one. So I realized after the fact that I recorded most of the talking points of this video with these lights turned off behind me, but it probably would have been a lot more interesting to have them on. So I'm just do putting this in here before I go through the whole thing so you can appreciate the colors, I guess. There. See? Look at that. Colors. Woo! They both do the same job. So now that we got that out of our system, which one's better? The first thing I want to compare between these two is the CRI and the TLCI. If you don't already know the difference between the two, CRI is essentially a measurement of how our eyes perceive color. TLCI, on the other hand, is a measurement of how cameras perceive color. So when you're looking for lights to use for video, you want to really take a look at that TLCI. The Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30 has better CRI and TLCI. Now the CRI of both these panels is above 95, but the TLCI on the Super Panel Full Color 30 is over 98. The TLCI of the RE Sky Panel S30C is only around 91 to 92. So you will get better color accuracy with the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30. Now since they are full RGBW lights, I would consider them special effect lights. So CRI and TLCI might not be the most important thing to you if you're using it to color a scene. Now using them as a key light or to you know render skin tones that could be a secondary goal for you to have in that case you definitely want to use the lupo panel but let's check the output maybe the sky panel has a ton more output shutter speed one over 50 f9 iso 200 one arm's length away set to 5600k 100 percent power and a 100 percent saturation on the red f2.5 with everything the same here's what the aria sky panel looks like if we adjust the exposure, we can see that we can go all the way up to F11. And everything else is the same for color with the sky panel, we get us up to F5.6. And with this side-by-side -side view, you can see the RE sky panel is a little bit brighter, but you can also see the color quality is a lot better on the Lupo Super Panel. And here's the side-by-side -side of color showing the sky panel has more output there as well. So the RE Sky Panel is a little bit brighter. Next up is weight. The RE Sky Panel S30C comes in at 23 pounds while the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30 comes in at 8.6 pounds. That is a staggering difference. It's hard enough to carry and move around in position with two hands. And this one you can just kind of move around in position with one hand. Now I didn't think having a 23 pound light would be an issue for me. I'm a pretty strong dude and I like high quality and like heavy things, but really it's, it's an encumbrance to try and position and figure out. And the cheap light stands that I have, uh, that I do a lot of these reviews with, they wouldn't work with this. I had to either reinforce them at the joints so they wouldn't collapse in on themselves or use a C stand. While the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30 would fit on any of my stands. In fact, Lupo also sells their version of a super clamp, similar to the one Manfrotto sells, but theirs just has a better, like, a uh, handle on it. I was able to use this to mount the Super Panel to one of the speakers that I have at my desk. I wouldn't be able to do that with the RA Sky Panel. It would just fall over and break my speakers and crush things. These are supposed to both be one by one panels, or 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. We can see that the RE Sky Panel is exactly 18 inches corner to corner, and the Lupo Super Panel is 17 and a half inches. 12 and a half inches across, 12 and a quarter inches vertically. 13 and three quarters across, 11 and three quarters vertically. I gave you those guys measurements in inches or freedom units, because inches are freedom units, and I'm an American. And Trump has placed a tariff on all the centimeters and millimeters and all those things, so I can't use those. The Sky Panel is solid, aluminum, and dense, high quality, very thick and rigid plastics. It's meant to take a beating, be rented out, and travel for several years of use on the road. It also has a handle on the top for easy carrying, a kickstand if you want to set it up on a table or on the floor without the yoke, which is really clever. Even as a brand new unit, it arrived in a heavily padded, well-packaged box, but it still had some nasty scratches on the side of the metal, which is, I'm not really sure why. The Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30 is instead constructed of a high quality, what they call techno polymer. It feels like a rigid, high quality 
air puffed PVC. I don't really know how to describe it. It's a plastic, but it's really hard and it seems durable. Unlike the sky panel, it was shipped to me in just a cardboard box. It didn't have any other padding or styrofoam or whatever, but it didn't have any scratches or damage on the panel when it got to me. Heavy metal doesn't always mean better. In this case, build quality is the determining factor of the weight difference and the weight difference is staggering. Although I'm definitely giving the sky panel the point for build quality due to the metal rigid build that will probably last through the apocalypse and the overall premium look and feel of the fixture, I would still prefer the weight and ease of handling of the Lupo Super Panel because it's just, it's more manageable. So as long as you take care of your equipment, the Lupo should last as long as the Ari. Now looking at the controls, the sky panel has three knobs and four buttons. It's got one free spinning knob and two fixed knobs that can go from zero to 100%. The information display on the back of the sky panel, I like it a lot. It displays a lot of information. It lets you know exactly what you're doing with your light. The Lupo has large, easy to twist fixed knobs and three buttons. The interface is still sufficient and in my favorite mode, HSI, the light is easier to configure and pick a desired color. Now what does it come with and what are the required components? The RE Sky Panel comes with a mounting bracket to mount the power supply on the back of the panel because it's huge and you need something to do with it because otherwise you could just have it, you know, dangling off to the side on the carpet or something. Now if you mount it to the back of the panel, it does make the panel jump up to 23 pounds and it's really, you know, it's just super heavy. The Lupo is pretty self-contained though, and they expect you to mount the power brick to the back of the unit because the power cord that goes from the power supply to the panel is very short. And it comes with this really handy bracket that just mounts it pretty seamlessly onto the back of the panel itself. And also, even with the power supply attached, it weighs eight pounds. For both options, you can purchase a V-mount battery plate, which will let you mount the V-mount batteries to the back of the panels. And then if you wanted to, you can go handheld. But unless you're training for a Mr. Universe competition, if you were gonna handhold a panel, I would definitely be going with the Lupo because, uh, you know, the sky panel is like super heavy. Lupo also sells a very high quality snap-on grid diffuser that works really well for controlling the spill. And it has no leaks on the back due to a nice little skirt that goes all over the edges of the panel. Ari sells similar accessories, but all of their accessories seem to be just slightly more expensive, so I don't really have any of their accessories on hand. Ari also lets you replace the diffusion on the front, a feature unique to Ari, with different levels of diffusion that you can buy, so you can more finely control the direction and level of output to diffusion. As for customization via available accessories and add-ons, Ari has a small advantage here. For a price, you can do a lot with this light. Another feature unique to the Ari is you can update the firmware via USB which they use to add new features such as new gel options or new special effects. Lupo doesn't have a USB port, so although they are working on new special effects, I'm not sure how you're supposed to update the firmware on it so you can use those new special effects. Another kind of unique thing about the USB port that Ari has is if you have like 40 sky panels and you want them all to be exactly the same, you know, when they're configured, is you can clone one panel with the USB and then stick it into all the other panels and then copy those settings onto all your panels really quickly which is cool, but it's really not necessary with the Lupo because you can just look at the settings and since the knobs are not infinitely twisty and you don't have to go to special places to configure them, you can just move all the knobs to the same position and then when you put the panel in HSI mode, they'll all have the same color. You just don't have to worry about it. So it's cool that Ari has that feature, but the way Lupo's panel is designed, you just don't need it. Another feature unique to Ari is the LAN port. You can control this panel over LAN. Lupo just does not have that feature. As we all know, most lights have fans in them these days. So with Ari, there are a few options to reduce the noise the panel makes. There's quiet mode, variable mode, and cool mode. Cool mode is simply super loud, full power fan. Quiet mode is still kind of noisy, and variable mode has the fan turned off until the light gets hot and then it gets loud. So I guess put it in variable mode until it gets loud and then put it on quiet mode, I'm not sure. Lupo on the other hand has fan on and fan off. When the fan is on, it's so quiet, you really can't hear it, but if you turn it off, it just reduces the power output by 50%. So I feel like it's a lot more intuitive way to control the noise that your light makes, either on or off, 50% power or full power. I feel like Ari should take note from Lupo and implement that into their light. And of course, price. Brand new, the Ari Sky Panel S30C sells for $4,113. And the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30 sells for $1,598. This is in US dollars, by the way. Freedom money. For the price of a single Ari Sky Panel S30C, 
you can get two Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30s and $1,000 worth of batteries, accessories, light stands, or whatever else. So what is my choice? Well, not only would I rather work with the Lupo light, due to the weight, ease of handling, easier to pick the colors that I want, it's significantly cheaper and offers a much better value. Yeah, I guess that's my answer. I'd rather, I'd totally rather buy the Lupo. And that's it. If you have any more questions about either of these, feel free to ask them in the comments of this video. I'd be happy to answer. I do have a Lupo Super Panel Full Color 60 coming into the studio pretty soon, which is twice as big as this. And you guessed it, it's gonna be a lot like the SkyPanel S60C. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you're subscribed. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.